So, any advices for starting and struggling YouTube video creators? Is the tax filing uh, should be everyone's concern being a content creator? Thank you very much. So, the diligent thinker. Para sa akin, if you want to be a YouTube video creator, the first step is to create the videos. Wag mo munang masyadong isipin na, ay, hindi ako magaling sa magsalita, hindi pa maganda yung mga equipment ko. So, I've seen successful YouTube video creators start out by simply using their phone. Nag-video lang sila sa phone, yun yung in-upload nila. Ang importante for being a YouTube video creator, although I'm not saying I'm super successful, but what I've seen others do and from my own experience, ang kailangan mong matutunan ay magkaroon ka ng regular schedule of creating the videos. The quality of the videos will come later on. So, wag tayong maging perfectionist pagdating sa videos natin. Uh, progression rather than perfection ang dapat na mantra mo dyan. So, continuously create YouTube videos. Upload lang ng upload. In a- anyway, later on, pwede mo namang i-delete yung mga super pangit mo na videos dati. <laughs> Plus, the more that you create, the better that you can, uh, the more uh, opportunities that uh, you'll have to improve yung videos mo. Kasi by uploading your videos, you'll get immediate feedback from the people who will be watching it. So sa akin, yun muna yung isipin mo. Uh, just create the videos. Pagdating naman sa, sa, sa topic or sa niche, I would say it's also the same thing. Try ka lang ng try. Um, talk about the things that you're interested in, the things that you're passionate about. Try to feature uh, aspects of your life. Kung ikaw ay ganong klaseng YouTube creator, uh, parang video blogger. And then see which ones will resonate with your audience and then do more of that. So, para sa akin, ang ginawa ko na, na strategy is to do a live stream, do a weekly live stream. Yun yung naging commitment ko na mag-live stream tayo na mag-live stream. If you'll watch yung mga una nating live stream, hindi pa tayo ganun ka-high tech. Although, I'm not saying na super ganda na ng setup natin ngayon, but I've seen improvements and I'm happy with it. And yung mga ina-upload natin na videos sa YouTube na sa YouTube channel natin are video clips of our live stream. So sa, sabi ko parang ano siya, uh, hitting two birds with one stone. Number one, I'm able to know ano ba yung mga concerns niyo. So I am able to answer yung mga concerns niyo, yung mga problems niyo. And at the same time, I am now able to edit those video clips and upload it as, as a separate video kasi naisip ko may mga ibang tao rin na yun yung concern kaya might as well upload it as a separate video. So yun yung naging system ko, yun yung naging process ko sa YouTube ko and I would say na you can do the same thing also. Ano ba yung topic mo? Uh, set out a a schedule in your week kung kailan ka mag uh, upload, uh, mag magre-record and upload ng video. So, there are a lot of resources on YouTube itself na mahapagbigay sa'yo ng mga techniques no, kung paano i-improve. I've been also reading yung mga voice quality videos, how do you improve yung uh, the way you speak. And there was also a time na nag-research ako, paano, mo, paano ko ba ma-prevent yung um, um, pag nasasalita ka? Kasi lalo na naka-livestream tayo, very spontaneous yung pag nagsasalita ka na um, um, um. So, I've, I've uh, looked, I've watched videos kung paano ma-prevent yun, and I've learned strategies kung paano ko siya may iwasan or at least man lang mababawasan. Kaya, I think partly that's the reason kung bakit li- napapansin ko, medyo choppy ngayon ako magsalita. No? Parang, y- ganun yung cadence nung, nung accent ko. Because sa utak ko, dun ko sinasabi yung mga am, um, am, um, ah. 
And isa sa mga strategies na na isip ko, uh, na natutunan ko is you can still say it pero sa utak na lang, wag mo lang i-verbalize. So, yun yung ginagawa ko for the past months and that's also the reason kung bakit I don't know if you find it weird na medyo choppy ako magsalita. Choppy meaning yung line of thought ko hindi tuloy-tuloy. But of course, that's part of the progression. Later on, siguro, kapag hindi ko na habit na mag-am-am sa utak ko, <laughs> mas magiging fluent na and mas magiging articulate na yung aking pagsasalita. Especially pag nag english na ko, pag ini-interview ko sa mga podcast na mga ibang podcast na kailangan ko mag-English. Nako, la, talagang ano, parang word per word or phrase by phrase ako nagsasalita kasi parang na-edit out or na-mute out sa bibig ko yung mga am and a ah, kasi sa utak ko lang siya sinasabi. So, ayun na, ang dami ko na nasabi tungkol sa pagiging YouTube video creator. And is tax filing uh, everyone's concern? Of course, if you're earning from YouTube or in any uh, income source, again, kung less than 250,000 pesos pa lang yung kinikita mo, hindi ka pa mandated. So, hindi pa siya mandatory. Kasi pwede naman siyang one-time, big-time. Ay, one-time, big-time. Pwede ano lang siya. Uh, sinusubukan mo lang kung maganda siyang source of income. You're just experimenting. And hindi pa siya serious venture. Ngayon, according sa BIR, kapag dumagpas na ng 250,000 yung kinita mo, then it means it's something na uh, serious ka na or something that is worth uh, pursuing. And you should now register as a business and start paying taxes. So, doon ka na lang magsisimula na probably register yourself first sa BIR and then sa BIR mismo meron na silang mga instructions may mga seminars pa nga yan eh I don't know if they're still doing it dito sa amen parang every first Friday of the month merong seminar on how to pay your taxes as a single prop or as a freelancer or as someone na self-employed so dun mo na siya ma dun mo, dun ka na, dun mo na kailangan magbayad ng taxes pag lumapas na 250,000 otherwise parang sideline pa lang yan or racket pa lang yan So, hindi pa. And maraming advantages for paying taxes kasi yung tax returns mo nagagamit mo sa pag-file ng, uh, sa pag apply ng visa. You can also use it when you're applying for a loan to show yung iyong financial capacity, etc. Aside from the obvious na it's your civic responsibility to pay taxes. So, yun yung masasabi ko sa'yo, the diligent thinker. And ang attitude ko lagi, if I needed to pay taxes, it only means na kumita ako ng pera and i should be grateful for that di ba kung hindi ko kung hindi ako nagbabayad ng taxes or hindi ko kailangan magbayad ng taxes ibig sabihin hindi ako kumikita ng pera and i don't want that and there's always there are strategies on how to minimize your taxes so may mga tax minim- minimization strategies which is not equivalent to tax evasion iba yung tax evasion pero merong tax minimization. So you can talk to any accountant about that and definitely they'll be able to help you. 